Hello guys, so today uh, we are going to <coughs> learn or we are going to see how to make the basic arrangements of QSA XL Plus machine. Right? So before surgery, what type of precautions we have to take, how to make the necessary arrangements before starting the surgery. So in my QSA first is nothing but QSA ka long term paper. It's a cavitron ultrasonic surgical aspirin. Right? Aspirate. Aspirate. That is nothing but your QSA. So before starting the machine, we have to do a lot of basic arrangements, right? So one by one, we will start that. See, uh, come close. Just sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. No issue. So you can cut it. Plus, it's invented by Integra company. Yes. This is the first company who has invented QSA machine, and others have followed the technology. Okay. Yes. Next thing, come close. See, at the starting, they have provided one filter, contamination, contamination filter. filter, right? And this is nothing but your suction jar, right? 2000 ml. So, first thing you have to remember always, you have to just how to fix it, how to remove it, just pull it out, right? It comes out, right? They have provided this uh, with the machines, right? This is nothing but avoid the contamination inside the machine. So, how to fix it, you can observe. And one more thing, whenever you are going to replace the thing, you have to always mention the date here, like this, right? So, how to fix it, you have to just keep it and push it. Second thing, when you are going to fix it to the jar, you remember one thing, for the jar, there are two, right? What we can say, that two openings. One is inlet, one is outlet like that. They have provided one uh, wall is here. You have to always fix this at the at this wall side, right? And you have to just coat it, okay? Right? This is the first thing we have to follow. Second thing, come close. They have provided one chamber here. So in this chamber, always we have to use sterile water. How to remove it? I will show you. They have provided one. Uh, what we can say that knob is here. You have to just push this knob and just press it here. Yeah. Just push it and press at the left side. Right. In this way, you can remove it out. How to drain the water? Just remove it, drain it out. Right. Fill it. Close it properly. Just put it in this given slot and just push it. Right? It gets fixed. So this practice you have to perform after seven days. If there will be no surgery, you just make it dry, right? Keep it like this. And whenever you are going to perform the surgery, before surgery, you just feel it. Right? Next thing. Suppose I want to make its position up and down. They were provided one now this here. Just push it. Up and down. Next thing, when it comes up, right? Suppose you want to take it. So they have provided this. Now just press it and you can take it this way. According to convenient of such. Got it? So in this way, let's come down. Now, next thing, where to come close? So this is nothing but tray they have given for the uh, what we can say that autoclave ET or plasma stabilization. So now the things open it out. First we have to remove this tubing. Now I will show you how to fix this tubing. Come close. First thing what, what you have to do. See they have provided color coding. Everywhere color coding is there right. So this knob. Right, this opening you have to just fix it. Right? Second thing. They have provided this small tubing here. Can you observe this color coding also they have given? Right? So next step what you have to do, you just you have to keep it like this. See this tube. I'm going to keep it here like this. Okay. Just go through this and remove it out right and then close it okay next thing before starting the machine this is nothing but one valve right it comes out so it is difficult to fix it so whenever you are going to start the machine that time you just yeah you just fix it like this right so next thing they have provided its other end it goes to the main surgical table and piece right and piece so i will show you how to fix the 
How to fix this hand? Come close. So, see how to fix it. So, for that, they have given these slots. Can you observe these slots? These two white slots are there, right? So, you have to adjust this yellow dots are there right in this way right and you just rotate it right in this way it get fixed how to remove it just push it anti-clockwise direction it comes out like this how to fix it you have to adjust this white slot as well as this yellow dot right and you have to just press see Put forward slot. I have to adjust, and after that, I have to adjust. Right. So, at the other end, they have provided this handpiece. Now, I will show you how to remove this handpiece and how to fix it. First of all, they have given this. What we can see that is nausea, nose cone. Right, nose cone. So, for this, how to this remove one part of handpiece? Handpiece. Rotate it clockwise. It comes out. Right, they have provided one o-ring here, so always take care of this o-ring. If it get removed out, fix it properly. Come close. See, uh, now this is nothing but uh, what we can say that uh, they have provided the range, right? Torque to set. yeah, torque set. set, tip torque set to fix the uh, what we can say that tip, right? Open so for that, yeah, open, laparoscopy. laparoscopy, open tip and laparoscopy tip. So this is nothing but blue is for the neurosurgery and this is green is for the laparoscopy right for the and liver surgery so how to fix it see they have provided one simple slot is there you have to just keep it in this way properly they have provided range for the range what you can say that they have given two color coding again i am going to repeat this green is for the liver surgery and laparoscopic and this blue is for the neurosurgery now we have to fix the tip here See, suppose this is nothing but laparoscopic tip. So first what you have to do is just simply fix it like this. And tighten it properly. Take this range. Right, hold it and just you have to rotate it clockwise direction. First this one. This is not the forty one second, right? Now it gets fixed, remove it out. Now it's worth it over. After that, put it aside. Next thing, they have provided one. This first, you have to close this. How to fix it? See properly. You have to, yeah. You have to match this to. Here well, you can see the dots. Dots are there, right? From this dot, you have yeah. to uh, come it down and anti-clockwise. Yeah. Then you will see the alignment of the these right. two black dots. Right. After that, you have to just fix it. Flu. Flu. This is the part. Flu. Flu. Right. And after that, uh, already we have installed this to be. So they have given two ends. See, first you have to. They have given one simple holder. You just fix it here. In this way, and you just insert it. And always remember, it should be lock. They have given small locks are there, right? It get locks. It not get fixed. Eh? it get locks right and after that 
this another tip they have given loose other end to connect here right so this is nothing but your basic arrangement of the machine almost done see at the time of procedure one more thing you have to always remember so this length of this wire is much more so try to avoid there will be a kinking in the wire it will be damaged to the Hand wire handpiece so you have to always keep it here in this way so it will avoid twisting inside the cable right and uh, this is nothing but position they were given to keep this handpiece in this way right mm -hmm. okay. so now i am going to start the machine <coughs> Power supply. Switch on. Right. One more thing. You have to use IV set and this connection you have to give. Okay. So this tubing we have to fix. Now I'm going to. Now I'm going to start the machine. On it. Yeah, already started. One so, on switch is here. Yeah. Show that. Yeah. Just make it on. Right. It gets on. See, come close. This wall get inside. And after that, at the starting, machine will give some noise. So don't be a panic. It's its starting procedure. It will give the sound. No issue. So wait for some time. The machine is booting. It will take some time. So this is a lever handpiece. For the lever handpiece, it is a 23 kilohertz handpiece, which vibrates 23,000 times in a second to break down the hard tubers or soft tubers. Okay. Here we have got two types of handpiece. One is lever handpiece, another is neuro handpiece. The neuro handpiece is a 36 kilohertz. Uh, handpiece what we say which uh, moves 36,000 seconds in a uh, 36,000 times in a seconds to break down the uh, tumors now let's see the back so you can continue now machine gets boot continuously right now booting procedure has been completed at the starting we have to press right this switch it will it will glow completely which means your handpiece is perfect now we have to check the irrigation. You, you have to just press this one. Just open here. Just will be open. Yeah. We have to see the flow of the water from the tip. Water will not come out, you have to just repeat the process. Again, press it. So, definitely it will come. Yeah. Water that comes out, right? That means now you can press it. Okay. Now, it is on standby board. This is our standby board. You can adjust the settings. Yeah. This side, you can see this suction sign. You can decrease it to 50. So this is for the suction. Huh. This is for the suction. For the surgeon's requirement, this is irrigation. Here, water flows 1 ml per minute. You See, can this adjust is it. This is a irrigation. And this is a fragmentation. Okay. So surgeon will adjust it. Surgeon will adjust it. Suppose it, the, this setting is for the open surgery. And if you want, if you are using a laparoscopic, then press this one light will glow what happens in laparoscopic surgery the suction goes off okay because of that gas which is inside this stomach yeah. okay it will avoid getting out so now you can go to run mode by pressing this button okay now just 
food switch is behind the one. What is there you do? Get it on me. So they have on the food switch here. Here so it's a color coding again. Color coding is there for two paddles. One is orange color, another is blue color. When you press that orange, so I'm going to press that. All the color. three functions will be operated. Come close. Come close. It works, right? Okay. Uh, but when you press this uh, blue color, blue. only irrigation water will flow. So that means we have to use that blue foot pedal is only for the irrigation purpose. That's it. For the main function, we have to use yellow one. So this is nothing but basic uh, arrangement before the surgery for the QSA. Now, how to switch off the machine? Right. So for that, we have to take care of some points. So before uh, switching off the machine, make it on the standby with help of this switch. Yes. This I'm going to press it. Now it's on the standby. After that, you have to close main power supply, but you have to wait for some time. No? Yes. Okay. Let's close it. Close it. Again, you will see the uh, waiting sign. By the time, you can remove these uh, two things. Suction valve only. Okay. So we have to wait for some time. When this procedure has been completed, then only you can dismantle the accessory which are connected to the q -sum. Suppose if you want uh, coagulation during the surgery, for that we have provided this same nose call from Integra ticket. Here you have to just change the control. Here you have to just change this nose con with this nose con. It's a quad Cusa uh, electro module nose con. This has to be connected to this handpiece and other end should go to your cautery machine. Theek hai? Yeah. By connecting this you can get coagulation effect during the surgery. Suppose uh, this three function plus this coagulation, all four function will be operative at the same time. So what we can say that completely closed now, right? We can switch off. Now how first of all you have to remove the right this in this way how to remove it? Push it into anti-clockwise direction and remove it out. So next thing, after that, what you have to do is remove this nose con connection. Then this irrigation tube. After that. After surgery, uh, we have to disinfect. Right? So, that is how to disinfect. After the surgery, you just have to uh, wash uh, in, uh, near the tap. Okay, you have to use the tap water to wash it, clean it. All the stains, blood clots, you have to remove. Okay. And then you have to give it to the sterile. In, in sterile, you have to, uh, you can do the sterile with plasma. ETO or steam autoclave. These are the three sterile method for this handpiece and the tube. Okay. Next thing now, how to remove the handpiece again? So we have removed it, but you just remember one thing: don't remove it out. Right? First, remove the handpiece and then remove this connection. Right? So again, we have to use that wrench they have provided. 
So can you hold this? Arrange. Come close. Put it here. First three mother. Yes. So that see water is there, right? So it should be there, no? No, nose cone has to remove. Okay, so we have to remove the nose cone. How to remove? So in this way we have to remove the nose cone. So after that, same procedure we have to follow at the starting. Already I showed you how to get to remove it out. So again it's we have to put it in, in the slot in this way, right? We have to use this range. Now I have to rotate it to in the proper direction towards my side, right? So only just once, just remove it out, right? After that, come close. So how, uh, how I will show you how to keep it for the how to send it for the sterilization purpose now if suppose sometime there will be some clot has to be stuck inside this they have provided this brush so you just insert it from at the deep side insert it right this way you can clean it okay so we'll see how to fix it for the uh, to for the sterilization purpose okay. This is the tray they have provided. See, first thing you have to keep it in this way. They have given diagram also. purpose is to we have to avoid the twisting in the table So we can keep in no. the trainer. No. no. So in this way, we have to. Now we can give it to sterile. What about this flow? That flow also we can send for the sterilization purpose. So this is the thing but uh, basic things regarding to the